Hello, it's T with Thesis Photography, and someone asked about removing red extra redness in the face, so I wanted to go over that really um, quickly. A quick little video. This is in Photoshop in Lightroom. It's um, different. I don't, let me think. I may open this up in Lightroom to show you that as well. I'm just going to show you in Photoshop. This works in Elements also. Um, one. I'm going to show you two techniques. This first one, I just create a new layer. I set my blend mode to color. And it's also how I get rid of color casting. I use my little dropper and sample some of the skin of um, the color without any color cast and without the extra redness in it. And then I will put my brush at like 40%, which if it's too strong. I can go on and adjust this later, which he has a color cast anyway because it's a green shirt. So I'm gonna brush it over the red and the color cast, which is on from the green shirt underneath the face. And as you can see, um, it kind of dolls it out. Because it gets rid of all that extra color and replaces it with the color I chose. And it depends on the color you pick, um, how it affects the picture. Let's see if I can use a different. Alright, so that's one way to do it. And obviously, depending on the severity of skin, is how you want to adjust that down or up. Another way to do it is to get a hue saturation layer. I go to my red, I actually put my saturation all the way up so I can actually see it as it affects the color on my red only. I pull it up around 5 to 10, May 7, and I pull my lightness up to 10 to 15 ish. Saturation is going to be around um, 5 to 10 again. And you can tell that gets rid of a ton of red, but this has got my my mask, I want to invert it and only paint it on the areas I want it to affect. So I click my mask, hit control I, and I have my brush at 40 again. Just brush over the extra red that didn't get out. And this is actually just an extra image I had. So that was before, and that was removing the red in the color cast very quickly. And then I would have actually created a blank layer for my healing. And I do it before everything else so that I click sample all layers. And then I'll go in and any splotches or anything like that that I can clear up with just my healing brush, I will try to do it beforehand. So that makes that just a little bit easier. Um, before and after and then I would just you know edit as normal whatever your editing style is um, depends on how you want to edit it I'm just gonna run all these through really quick sorry I was gonna show it to do it in Lightroom but I I messed it up with my catalog earlier when I was messing with it and accidentally hit remove on one of my folders I needed. So now it's got, you know, 11,000 photos. It's going to resync on that. Um, let me find my mouse here. Oh, it's getting slow. And then, like I said, I would edit it and I just run a, a tweaked, simple and clean action for one of my sets. Um, or for wonders. So that was before, and that was after. That was just some dreadness. I would actually went in and also removed this extra bit of collar casting on his face and underneath the arm. But I'm not presenting this image, so that's not a big deal. And black and white. <laughs> that's a quick way to get rid of a collar cast or a red face, but that's just two steps you can use. And um, you can use them together, or you can just use whichever way you prefer or whichever works for your image. Hopefully that helped you guys. Thank you.